Hi guys, my name is Roger and in this video I'm going to show you how to connect your external hardware to your MV8000 or MV8800. We see here MIDI in, MIDI out A and MIDI out B. MIDI in is for connecting an external keyboard to control your external hardware. So, connect the cable from MIDI in to the MIDI out of your external keyboard. In this case I'm using my uh, LSS QS7. So it's connected from MIDI in to MIDI out over here. Then we have out A and out B. What you now have to do is to connect a cable, a MIDI cable from out A to your equipment. So let's go to, in this case, my TR8 and we go from out to the in of the TR8 and we go from out to the in of the SP808. So always from out to in. In my case I use patch base. I've got over here my Roland A880 and over here eMagic EMT8 AMT8 sorry and all my MIDI equipment is connected over here from the MIDI in to the MIDI out of my MIDI patch bay. What you also can do is daisy chain. I don't advise to daisy chain too much gear. So search for a MIDI patch bay because if you have a lot of hardware then it's better to use MIDI patch bays. So again, from MIDI in, your keyboard to the MIDI out and then from MIDI out to the MIDI ins of your equipment. Now we'll show you in the system how to set it up. How to set up your MV8000 in the system? Well, first it's very important to have dedicated MIDI channel numbers for your equipment. So let's say the DX100 in this case, over here, I have put my DX100 on receiving and sending MIDI channel number one. And I have connected from my MV8000 from out B, into my MIDI in of the DX100. I go to parameters and over here I see B1. And B1 means channel number one connected to the MIDI out of the MV8000. So if I play now on my MIDI keyboard, I should hear my DX100. That's my DX100. Over here you see program 50 because I can program change, I can change the programs of my DX100. If I choose 16, got a different sound, 17, 18, but I use in this case number 15, the solid bass with velocity sensitive effect. Okay. Let's check this one out. The GV1080. And over here you see A3. I've put my GV1080 on MIDI channel number 3. Receiving sending MIDI channel number 3. And I've connected the GV1080 from MIDI, uh, MIDI out of the MV8000 out A to the MIDI in of the GV1080. So now on MIDI channel number three, I receive the sound of the 1080. And again over here, program number 79. I can change, change it over here. Something else, syncing. To have 
drum computers synced to the MV8000. We go to the setup of the song, and then number three is sync. We see sync mode is master, so my MV8000 is the master to control all other devices. Over here you see a MIDI clock. The MV8000 is sending a MIDI clock on MIDI A and on MIDI B. So what does it do? It makes sure that when I hit the start button of my MV8000, my TR8 is also starting. And also that my KP3 effect from Korg, my Chaos Pad, is in sync with the MV8000. Because some delays do have a tempo sync, and it's the MV8000 sends now a tempo sync to the KP3. Over here you see machine control. I've only put B on on, so this means when I start playing on my MV8000, my VS 1824 is also starting. If I want to record uh, also on this machine, then I can do it. And over here, MTC, this I use for, for my SP808, because the SP808 can receive MTC as a slave. So when I start playing on my MV8000, my SP808 will follow. I will show you now when I hit play that my TR8, which is not recorded over here, because you see the GP1010, the VP9000, VP M3R, SP808, A station, but there is no TR8 because I have only synced the clock. I have programmed a simple, uh, a simple bar, simple measure on my TR8, and this is the TR8. It's not programmed over here, not in my MP8000, but it's synced, MIDI synced to the MP8000. What you now hear are samples from the 8000. I've used this one and I've used my finger snap, recorded it, added some reverb and it gives a perfect sensation of crispness, don't you think? So over here you see the GP1010 guitar. I will unmute it. So now my AV8000 is sending MIDI information to my GP1010 and it's playing it. And I will show it in the piano roll. This information is now sent out to the GP1010 to play. So I've recorded it in real time. And then you have and you get these notes on the screen and you see here an event list all the notes played I will add the SP808 with the sound of the M3R Now something funny because I've used the, uh, the VP9000 in, in a very nice way. That's my voice. So this is total, and then you can see, you can hear the only part of the MV8000, the only sample part, is this one, the jingle snap. 
and the rest, the rest is MIDI control. Keep in a thousand on MIDI out A, MIDI channel number six, connect to the MIDI end of the EP9000. So, just the basic setup. video I will show you how to create these kind of voices and to play with your uh, own voice in a very cool way with a PP9000. So again, MIDI in, MIDI out, MIDI out. The setup for sync to, set, to send out MIDI clock information or, or MIDI control, machine control information. A very cool way to use the MP8000 as a MIDI sequencer. Thank you for watching, guys, and we we'll see you another time. We we'll see each other in another video. Okay, bye bye.